Welcome to the lesson on converting fractions to decimals. As you know, the terms fractions, decimals, and percents all indicate the concept of partial numbers. Converting between them is an essential skill in mathematics. In this lesson, we are going to focus on one and only one skill, converting fractions to decimals. A fraction is made up of three parts, the numerator, the denominator, and the separator. If you remember from a previous lesson, a fraction indicates how many parts you have of a whole when divided into equal parts. The word divided is key. 5 over 8, 5 eighths, 5 out of 8. Each of these terms is the same as 5 divided by 8, and that is the trick to changing a fraction to a decimal. We divide. So if you follow the logic of 5 eighths being the same as 5 divided by 8, it follows that 1 half is the same as 1 divided by 2. On a calculator, we would enter the values exactly the way we say it. 1 divided by 2 equals 5 tenths. In the same way, 5 eighths is the same as 5 divided by 8. 5 eighths is equal to 625 thousandths. The question now becomes, what happens if a calculator is not available? Well, then we have to do the computation by hand. The question that always comes up is what gets divided into what? Well, here's the trick. Pretend that there is a push that comes from the bottom of the fraction against the fraction bar. That push moves the numerator off the top and next to the denominator. The fraction bar extends to be part of the long division symbol. There, now we're all set up. We're going to divide 2 into 1. Add the decimal point and necessary zeros. Therefore, 2 goes into 10 5 times. 1 half is the same as 5 tenths, the same answer we found when we used the calculator. Let's repeat the process with 3 eighths. Push the fraction bar causes the 3 to slide inside the division symbol. Add a decimal point and 0. 3 eighths is the same as 375 thousandths. Please be aware that I am assuming that you are confident with the process of long division. If not, please take some time to review that skill. In this lesson, we looked at the process of converting fractions to decimals using two different methods. The first method was using a calculator. The second was by long division. As with all mathematic skills, practice makes perfect. Thanks for watching this lesson on converting fractions to decimals. Please take some time to practice this skill and join us again for another lesson.